What's going on behind the scenes that we're not being told? I'll let you read it because there's some words not appropriate for church. You gotta be kidding me. I am disgusted at these actions. In light of the most recent news coverage, it seems like many on our board are ill-equipped and possibly breaching ethical codes and board policies. I ask for those who are in violation of these terms respectfully resign. Well, tonight, the Salt Lake City School District Board of Education is facing the fallout of a Fox 13 News investigation that revealed dozens of inappropriate messages sent between board members. At a meeting tonight, they faced criticism from parents who were not happy with the unprofessional behavior Fox 13 News uncovered. Fox 13's Adam Herbetz broke the story just last night, and he joins us now live in the newsroom with a look at how tonight's meeting is going so far. Adam, is that meeting still going on? Yeah, Bob Kelly, some of the board members are facing public pressure and internal pressure to hand in their resignation. So far, only board member Mike Namelka has spoken publicly about his concerns, stating he will be filing a formal complaint against Catherine Kennedy, Nate Salazar, and Sam Hansen. And I'm going to use the investigative report that Fox News prepared as my evidence. And I want you three to know that you have negated any positive decisions this board has made and made us a laughing stock of this whole state. I am disgusted at the way you acted and the things that you did in secret. Board members Salazar, Kennedy, and Hansen did not respond. As our investigation showed last night, parents and district employees were not just upset because of the profane and insulting messages. They say it's clear these board members also broke multiple policies and, according to our experts, also broke the law. Some members of the board privately colluding on public policy and some not handing over their text messages. Unfortunately, the lesson that the school board's teaching here to students and to faculty and to parents is that it's okay to violate the law and, you know, civility is out the door. Stories like this exposing um, the conduct of public bodies when they violate the act is very important. They should not be deleting those texts from their phones. Parents have told us throughout the day they've been on the phone with the attorney general's office that Sean Reyes is personally aware of the situation, but it's unclear whether he will be opening a formal investigation. Intentionally violating the Utah Open and Public Meetings Act is illegal. That's a Class B misdemeanor, but attorneys tell us it is very rarely enforced. The meeting, last we checked, is still going on right now, and it is on our Facebook page, live streaming, fox13now.com. Live in the newsroom, Adam Herbetz, Fox 13 News, Utah.